Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Oh. Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisson must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my... Breath. Well now, Candy Bridges, I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talons. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it! Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command! I hear ya. Prepare yourself, Bissad. On guard! Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Call out which lever I should pull. Zaz! Zaz! Uh-huh. Done. Let him go! There you go. Zaz! Zaz! On it. Flame up! Oh, come on in here, boys. Let's get this varmint. Sauce? Yep. Let him go! Sauce? How's that? Sauce? Fire up! Bam! Let him go! Okay. Flames! 10-4. Done in by some four-eyed turtle? Times have changed. Once again, brains triumph over brawn. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me! You... did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks! Uh, attention, uh, John Besson! Arpeggio's, uh, carrier blimp will, uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. 
The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! Shake a leg that blimps on its way. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light Battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's glint. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. <laughs> 